Welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today is part two of let's build a high school in The Sims 4. So if you haven't seen the first video, I'll link that down below. But essentially we built all the stuff, all the basic stuff we needed for a functional high school within The Sims 4 high school years. Today, we're essentially finishing it off. I mean, at the end of this, there are still some things that I would like feedback on, but I will upload the finished version today to the gallery and then maybe I'll add a few more things later on. But starting off uh, right at the beginning here, I have actually moved the entire school forward, like closer to the front of the lot. Um, couple of reasons. Uh, number one, I actually wanted room out the back for like an auditorium kind of build or something along those lines. Like I know there is an auditorium lot type that you actually go to and things happen there, but you know, for the sake of uh, it looking more like a high school, I wanted to include that on the lot. So I moved the school forward. Also, it means you don't have to walk 100 meters just to get to the front door. So that was, I mean, that was one of my issues with the original high school is that you just have to walk so far. Now, the other thing uh, that some people mentioned is, you know, the first video I was like, oh, you know, I want to make the school smaller. When I say smaller, and I think I did kind of explain it in that video, but I'll just reiterate it. When I say smaller, the actual school building that we have is really quite big for the Sims, not in reality, but it's big for a Sims build. But the actual playable space that you have to use while you're at school is all kept on one side of the school. And we'll go through that once we have a tour at the end. Now this room, I just want to jump forward because this is really cool. I really wanted to build, uh, yeah, like an auditorium, which I actually decided to put inside the school because we had all this extra space. Um, this is purely a decorative room. It serves no purpose other than it looks really cool. With the usage of platforms, we're able to create all this tiered seating and a little stage. I'm like, I reckon this is so cool. So this is like, I guess like either like a little lecture room or, you know, like uh, maybe uh, assemblies, that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's really small. It's just a look cool. I did consider originally making it bigger and take up more space, but I was like, there really is no point making this any bigger because the only reason we're putting it here in the first place is because it looks cool. So I was like, okay, let's keep it a moderate size. It's not huge. Uh, surprisingly though, all the seats that I end up putting here are actually usable, which, uh, you know, I was actually surprised by. You'll see in a minute how I place all the seats uh, because, you know, we've got this, the, all these platforms going down one tile at a time. It's all completely walkable. It's all sitable. Um, it was a lot of fun to build. Yeah, so pretty much the first half of the school we built in the first part, that's where you play when you go to school during your day. The second other half of the school we're building today, this is kind of like stuff that, you know, either looks cool like this room or is is usable and is useful to have at the school, but not necessary to complete a school day. So like, for example, you know, we've got this room, they were also building a library. That was a really big suggestion to put in the other domed uh, rounded room. So that's where the library goes. That was a great suggestion. So again, that is a useful room to maybe have like a study session or something, just something a little bit of fun like that. Um, but it's not, you don't have to go there during your school day. So that's what this half of the school is for. Now, this is just me figuring out how many seats I wanted to do. I was originally going to really pack them in, as you saw. But number one, they didn't place that evenly. And number two, again, I was like, we don't actually need that many seats. We don't need any seats in there. Uh, so I was like, okay, I'm not going to go overboard on it. Let's just dial it back a bit. Now, the other thing I wanted to include was a gym because the original school did have a gym. Uh, one thing that did annoy me about, well, one of the many things that annoy me about the the school that comes with the pack is that all that stuff's in the basement. So you have to trek downstairs just to be able to use it, which takes a long time, especially with the way they sort of design it. So this gym, again, while you don't actually need it, is just opposite the cafeteria near the principal's office at the end of this hallway. It's not big. You know, I think that I've, I end up fitting one of each piece of equipment, but that's enough. You know, we got everything we need. We've got the showers in there as well. So all that stuff is right here and a lot easier and quicker to get to, hopefully. Again, some of this stuff might change. Um, so what I'm planning to do is after this video, uh, you'll be able to download this high school as is. I'm going to put this in my Let's Play series and we're going to play with the school because then we'll figure out things that maybe don't work that well. If I've noticed something that's really kind of annoying or bad, we'll just get rid of it or change it. We'll adapt it and then maybe we'll just upload a new version. But for now, this is the version that you're gonna be playing with if you want to. Um, oh, also yeah, here. So we got tiled flooring uh, in, in this school. Um, and I did want tiles in the gym because I was like, okay, carpet might be pushing it a little bit in the gym. So we use those sort of uh, 
that rug that looks like the sort of gym floor mat, or it doesn't, that's what it's supposed to be. But I had to sort of size it down and fit it together because the room was a bit of an odd shape. But it all worked out in the end. Now, uh, yeah, this is the library over this section. Oh, also I should note that I am building this uh, school still only using base game and high school years. So everyone should be able to play with this. Uh, no mods or custom content. And it's only base game and high school years. Um, doing any other changes or other items might be something that I'll do down the line, but for now I just want everyone to have the opportunity to be able to download this high school if you wish to. Uh, so the the library here, like I said, is pretty much, it's just decorative, you know, it's not a required thing for the school to function in game, but it means, you know, you can bring your sims here, have a study session, or just go here, read some books or whatever. It's all just in this area. Uh, these bookcases, by the way, work really well for a library. I could have, building a huge like school library would be really good. Again, nothing in this school I wanted to make too big. So this library, you know, it's not very big at all. It's quite it's quite small at the end of the day. Um, but we got a couple tables, some chairs. Uh, got that big skylight, obviously, on the roof there, shining down. And at this point, I realized I don't have any stairs. Um, I know you guys mentioned in the last part that, you know, we got this whole second story. We're not using the second story. It's purely just decorative for the exterior. But we should probably still have some way that you could feasibly walk up there. Because uh, if this was the real school, there should be some way to get up there. So that's where I put the stairs just at the end of this hallway. Uh, and look, maybe while I'm playing the game, I was thinking I might want to add some stuff up there. I don't actually have a computer lab anywhere in this school at the moment. There are computers throughout the building, but none of them are like really supposed to be for students. I did notice some students using, because I put a laptop here in the library at the, the sort of reception desk. Uh, students would just sit there and use it. So, so they do use that, which I guess is not the worst thing. It is a little silly though, so maybe I should just get rid of that. But yeah, we don't have a computer lab, so I was thinking maybe we do put that upstairs, but then that sort of creates the same issue. The problem with computers in The Sims 4, uh, and you'll definitely notice this if you put them in your builds, every single Sim wants to go use them. They, they will flock there. So that's why, especially in the default high school that comes with the pack, having that gym, uh, the gym and the computer lab and the chess room downstairs, it just draws so many of The Sims there, which is really far away. Um, so if we do a computer lab, we might need to rearrange some space and have it upstairs uh, rather than, not upstairs, sorry, <laughs> on the ground floor rather than upstairs because otherwise it's just going to make all the sims try to go up there, which will be really, really annoying. Now in this little area, I thought, you know what, let's get a second bathroom because we're over the other side of the school. If you had to go to the bathroom, it'd be a really long walk to get to the other side. So I copied the bathroom, put it in the same sort of place. Um, also, earlier on in the video, you might have noticed I actually moved where the door to the bathroom was, so it was a shorter walk. Because, again, like I mentioned in my Let's Play series, that's one of the most annoying things, is how long it takes to walk around the high school. So I try to move the door a little bit closer. Now here is another decorative room. This is like sick bay or the nurse's room. Um, this is just for fun. There's a couple beds in here. I guess you could actually come in here and have a nap if you wanted. <laughs> so this is just a little bit of fun. Maybe, like I do like having this in the school. I think it's kind of cool. But if we're gonna put a computer lab uh, on the ground floor, maybe this is where we put it and we move the sick bay maybe. Seems kind of weird to have a sick bay upstairs, but maybe that's why we do it if we want a decorative room. Because, oh, I don't wanna move the auditorium though. I like that room too. I don't know. This is where comments and, and all that will be really helpful. And also as we play the game, um, we'll go from there. Now, this is where we get excited. We're doing huge new builds on the school. We've got this oh, huge amount of space out the back. Now here, this, again, this is only base game in high school years, but I wanted a space that if you have city living, you can have a, a, like a full size basketball court from that pack. So I measured it out, I, you know, I loaded up city living, made sure the basketball uh, court would fit in here. And then this is basically a big gymnasium that if you have city living, you can put in the basketball court, the basketball hoops, it'll fit in there. And if you don't, I actually just put in a one of the, the large cheer mats. So, you know, number one, you don't have to walk all the way to the field out the back, which is really far away. So this is closer if you want to pack, practice uh, cheer. You just go into the gymnasium. It's right there, especially with seasons. If it's raining or bad weather, it's nice to have somewhere indoors to be able to do that. So this is just, uh, I based this design, uh, I don't know if you can already tell, pretty much off the actual auditorium in the world that's the lot next door. So it looks pretty similar. You know, we've got the windows all at the top. I've just put in a whole bunch of lights, by the way. Just I just went over the top, the lights everywhere. I was trying to place them evenly though, so they at least look nice if you, if you see them. But the rest of it is just a lot of lights. And then here, of course, we've got to have 
some bleachers, you know, we did a few rows of them. Now I didn't actually test these, but the auditorium seating worked fine. So I kind of assumed this seating would work too. Um, but we will uh, jump into the game at the end of this time lapse and you know, we'll just test to make sure it works. I tested the actual school itself, playing it through a full school day. That seemed to work fine, which I'm really pleased about. Um, and then yeah, these seats, obviously I, I did have to do move objects to fit them in. I would have liked more like uh, a bleacher style seating because I mean, these are actually stone benches, which are not ideal. But again, because we're using base game in high school years, this is kind of what we have available to us. So that's what I've used. But yeah, if you have some other packs, maybe change it out for something else. Um, but yeah, I think this is really cool. This is this is fun. I mean, it's it's essentially also just a big empty room. So if you wanted to put something else in here uh, from any other pack, there's plenty of room to fit stuff in here, which I think is great. It's just a huge building uh, with lots of possibilities. So I did actually spend a lot of time so I, trying to figure out the landscaping around this school. Now, I didn't want to go too heavy uh, for a couple of reasons, because I thought it might just look overgrown and way too busy for this area. Um, but I also didn't want to go too light because it kind of looks at the moment if I kind of obviously I'm not going to leave it just blank with no pathways, but with all the grass out there, it kind of just looks a little empty. Oh, by the way, that debug scoreboard, I thought that was like perfect for this little uh, court. Uh, so we put that in there and then I think, yeah, this is where I get the cheer mat, put it in the middle of the room. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I do some pathways. I actually spend quite a bit of time doing a design here that I completely scrap and I didn't record me re-landscaping the outside. I'll show you at the end of the time lapse what I did because I tried a few different ideas. I think where I ended up with the school is actually pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to showing you that. Also trying to find lights in just base game and uh, high school years was kind of tough, but I think we got some good choices in the end. This is just, I'm choosing so many different lines. Got some good choices in the end. Also use that cool new uh, awning as well. I think I use that up the top uh, area as well, the plaza. So yeah, this is where I kind of do uh, a few different designs and playing around and in the end, I kind of, I, I liked it, but it seemed like it was too much. Like it was just a little bit too busy for this space, especially when I started building some more stuff around this area, it just became too big. So you can see like I do like a plant, kind of like I did up on the, the plaza at the back of the school. Uh, same sort of thing, same patterns. And it just, uh, I think it was too much. So, you know, we play around with it. I think it's a nice idea, but it didn't really flow in with the rest of the area. So we just do the bushes and I did some benches. And of course, actually there's plenty of benches and bins all around this lot too, which is great because in the default high school, Trying to find somewhere to nap was actually kind of hard. <laughs> so there's plenty of places to sleep here in this school, which is great. Uh, yeah, we've got some of those outdoor path lights. I mean, th this is a basic idea of what I'm doing outside. And then, uh, you know, I completely change it. So you, know, you get the idea. Oh, actually up the top here, this I really liked. Having these sort of uh, windows at the top. Uh, so we just did like a row of windows with a sloping roof. So I don't think any light actually manages to, like the sun, I don't think ever manages to go through those and hit the downstairs, like inside. So I don't think you get to see any of the cool lighting effects from it. But I think it just adds a nice little detail because the roof is so flat and big up the top that just having some extra detail up here looked kind of nice. And I did the same thing over the other side. And I did make sure to uh, actually have a gap in the flooring here so you can sort of see through it. There you go. So the, the light will actually, well, We'll go through it. Like I said, I don't think the sun exactly lines up with the way those windows are, but it's a nice little extra detail that we've got there. I also managed to remove the lights that would have been floating, so you don't have to worry about that. And of course, all the aircon units on the roof as well. Um, now over here, uh, another thing I wanted to add was a swimming center, just a little swimming pool. You know, thought that made sense as something in a high school as well. Um, now, this is as much room as we had. So it's no by no means an Olympic sized swimming pool that was not going to fit here. We did a decent sized one. And because I think it's is it get together that comes with like the swimming lanes like on the bottom of the pool. We don't have any like lanes or anything or diving boards or anything really. It's just a pool uh, and, and some ladders. But you know, it's there so you can come here and go swimming as well. So there, there's quite a few activities now to do at the high school besides, um, you know, just the computer lab and that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, this this building is kind of boring to be honest because the front of the building that's where like the sort of change room is, so we can't really have any big windows. I mean the whole pool area though, I do windows all around it, which I think looks really nice. Uh, yeah, just here. So pretty much around the whole like swimming pool area is all windows. Uh, these larger ones, which do match, I think the front of the school has these. Um, yeah, so I think that looks pretty good. But then the front of the building is kind of weird. I do actually change it as well, um, but it's not recorded. We'll do a little tour. 
I was trying to find some signs as well for each of the buildings, but it didn't, it didn't really end up working out. <laughs> so that whole building is tiled all throughout. I also did like an office for, I guess, like the PE teacher or like, I guess, swim coach or something. A little office there because there wasn't one in the gymnasium, but I thought maybe having one over here would be good. I didn't, I, I almost did. I almost put like a laptop or a computer in this office, but I was like, you know what? Sims are going to walk all the way to this building and they'll be so far away from anything else. So I didn't put anything that'd be interesting, obviously, besides the swimming pool. Um, and there are bathrooms in there and showers and, and that kind of stuff. So you can go to the toilet down here or up in the school. So there's hopefully enough options. Again, once we're actually playing with this, I think we'll get a good idea of things we need to change or add. Um, that's the plan, really, because it's kind of hard. I, I don't think I can call this build 100% finished because I think I need I do need to play for a decent amount of time with it to see if there's any issues that are really annoying or things that I missed or forgot or didn't realize. So that's something I plan on, unless unless the build is perfect. I plan on revisiting it. I don't think the build's gonna be perfect though. But yeah, throughout, because we'll use it in the Let's Play series and then hopefully we'll uh, figure out what we need to change and what we need to do. So yeah, we got the, so a couple shower rooms there and the change room there. I don't think, we don't see all of this. Um, some of it I cut out just because it took me forever to decide what to do. Uh, so again, we'll do a tour of the high school in just under a minute actually now, the time lapse is nearly done. So I was trying to fit everything in these little uh, shower rooms, but I couldn't fit a sink as well. So the sinks end up just going into the changing area just here. And then I do some lockers as well down here. So, you know, come down here, change, go swimming. That's the plan. Well, that's the idea, not the plan. <laughs> that's the idea of the room. Uh, and I think, I, you know, I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, so I was going to use these base game lockers, but then I was like, you know, I might as well use the lockers that come with high school years just because they have some fun colors and I don't know. I thought it looked kind of nice. Oh, I spent ages on the layout of that room. It actually ends up really kind of weird. Uh, you'll see why once we jump into the tour, but <laughs> I think it's okay, but it, it's not perfect. But I, I think we, we ended up somewhere that kind of works. Now, this is kind of where I started doing a little bit more landscaping around the school. And then I decided I'm just fiddling around so much trying loads of different ideas. I was like, I'm just gonna stop recording and we'll just cut back into when I figured out what's supposed to be where, you know? Cause there's just so many, I'm just trying this and then I end up removing it and I do this and that and you know, so you can see I'm trying all these different ideas and it just ended up looking like way too busy. I, I think you, it already looks like there's a lot of stuff going on. It's kind of messy, but let's jump into the tour and see what the final product looks like. All right, so here we are at the brand new and improved Copperdale High School. So a few little changes at the front. Uh, obviously the big change was moving the entire school forward, as I mentioned. And I did play around with doing landscaping in this area, but I actually think it looks a lot better just having grass hills here. And then just a little bit of a hedge here, because what I actually noticed uh, when I played and I was doing a bit of testing is Sims would walk and then they'd walk around the stairs. I mean, they might still do that. I'm not sure. So that's something we're gonna have to play and test and see. But they'd walk here and then just down the hill. I'm hoping by putting these shrubs here, we've got the sign, you know, all this stuff along the side. I'm hoping that sort of forces them to use the stairs rather than the hill. I look, the hill is nice, but it was kind of silly seeing them walk down that way. So it sort of just blocked it off a little bit. And that means I just have to walk, you know, straight down rather than around. Um, yeah, so at the front, we just got a sign. Uh, I did put the sign here originally, and then I realized that's kind of dumb because there's a school bus permanently parked there. Um, and then we got some bins. Um, I'll go to nighttime as well, so you can see the outside lighting lights up on all the tall sections. And I think it's, it actually ends up looking quite nice. All right, let's go back to daytime. Let's have a, let's keep looking at the outside. So again, pretty, you know, well, I say minimal landscaping. There's a lot of trees and stuff around the place, but I try to keep it pretty clean. Um, so you can see this is the back of the school here. We've got the new buildings around the back there. There's a few little pathways sort of around the place. So you can see down here, there's some trees and shrubs. And then through this area, I removed all those sort of raised planters and just kept it more ground based. Uh, again, plenty of benches and bins. I don't know if I actually did too many bins, to be honest, but you know, they're there. Um, plenty of pathways, you know, I sized down some of these trees because I thought that looked kind of cool. You know, I, I think it worked out pretty well. I think it worked out pretty well. We've got the main stairs at the middle. And then I realized once I was building this, I was becoming my own worst enemy by creating a really long pathway that Sims would have to like walk all the way around down these stairs to get over here. So I added side stairs here and here. So, you know, you could come out this way, walk straight down rather than going uh, all the way to the middle. <laughs> so that's why I've got those extra side stairs and the pathways off to the side as well. So same over this side, we've got some trees lining this one, uh, just so you can sort of walk straight down this way. I mean, they might just walk over the grass, but you know, it's just another 
sort of connection there. So this is the swim center. Um, and this is what it looks like in the end. I decided to do a curve on the front because it was kind of boring. You know, we got these two big rectangular buildings. They're nothing, they're nothing special, but you know, it's for a school. Look, in an ideal world, this would probably be further away from the main building, but we only have so much room to build here and I didn't really want to make the front even smaller. So that's why it's sort of sitting there, which I, I think turned out okay. Um, and then, yeah, that's the other lot, the sort of actual auditorium lot. So you can see I sort of did a similar design with the columns and the windows up top. Uh, obviously different color scheme, but you know, it goes with all of this. Uh, yeah, so the swim center is just here. Let's have a look inside this one. So we got the little entrance here, a little notice board you sort of walk through, and then there's like an entrance to the office, which actually has a couple of desks in here. Now it takes up this whole sort of space because I really wanted windows on this half because it kind of looked weird without it. You know what? I feel like there should be a window there too. Uh, it looked weird without windows on this side because that's where the locker room was. So I just had to make the locker room a little bit more, like it's smaller to fit in there. It means we end up with a slightly weird shape. Again, this might change. I don't know, but at the moment, this is what we're going for. This is also clipping through the window a little bit now. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so I, look, I think it, it's okay. Um, but really the important thing is, you know, you got the swimming area in here, just a big area, the nice pool. That's all it is. A few benches so you could like see if there was like a race on, sit down and watch, you know, that kind of stuff. And a couple of showers and the toilets are in there as well. Sinks are there. There was no room to fit like benches with the changing room, so I just got rid of those. Um, that's that. And then, yeah, so over here we got the gymnasium or the basketball court. At the moment, it's obviously just got the cheer mat. So if we put it walls up on the second floor. So we've got the sort of bleachers over here, which we've got to test to make sure that works. But I think that looks, it looks pretty cool, even if it doesn't work. Um, I'm hoping it does. Uh, and then, yeah, this area here should fit the basketball courts and the basketball hoops in that space lengthwise. Um, if not immediately, if you just use move objects, I'm sure it will place fine. Uh, now for the main school, the main event. So the whole upstairs, like I said, is nothing. Uh, we do have the stairs that just go up here to nowhere. That's purely just decorative. Um, look, we might put up stuff here uh, in gameplay. If we decide we need a, an extra thing here or there, we might find some space for it. Um, but yeah, down here, let's have a look through the main school area. So we come through the start, the start, <laughs> we come through the main entrance and we got this hallway. Wait a second. How did I leave these lights here without realize? Okay, let's get rid of those lights. <laughs> those have been there like for so long and I totally forgot to get rid of them. Okay, first of all, we got rid of those lights. Now it's too dark. Let me get some wall lights. Uh, okay. <laughs> and using this many lights is not even bright enough. Um, it's kind of hard to light this area, to be honest, with lights that aren't like disgusting. Okay, I've used these lights. This is sort of spliced into the column. Uh, you can see it's a completely different color of light, but we'll go into live mode and we'll change them all to the same color in a little bit. So anyway, there we go. So that's not there anymore. Let me jump into camera mode. So when you come into the school, this is actually what it looks like. You can see all the way up to the skylight roof. And then, you know, there's other levels. There's clearly nothing in them, but it's just for funsies. That's just up there. I think that looks pretty cool. And then you get all the light coming into the hallway during the day. And then the main classroom uh, in gameplay that your sim will actually use is this one here. So this is class as classroom one. Um, and then this is classroom two, which is, as far as I'm aware, I haven't ever used that in gameplay. My sim always uses classroom one. And that just seems to be a decorative one where you see other students go to. So essentially you will use this classroom here. Then there's plenty of lockers here that you can claim. Actually the four, these sort of four section ones you can't claim. The twos you can. I just use some of the four ones to fill in a bit more space, but there's a few twos in this area you can claim. So you can claim those. There's a couple of benches here. So you use this classroom and then between class, the bathroom is here. So you'd sort of walk around here, go in there. It's not too far. And it's also halfway between uh, the classroom and the cafeteria. So you just come down this hallway into the cafeteria, which is at the end here, which also this room I think is really cool. If we have the roof up, you can see the skylight. I don't know, I reckon this room is really, really cool. And it's actually really nice in gameplay to see all the Sims in here because it looks a lot more full because it's smaller than the uh, default one that comes with the game. So that's there. And then in the hallways, well, we have some vending machines. There's some around the place. So if you want food a little bit closer, there's a couple of those. Um, and then just in here, we have the principal's office. Uh, so that is sort of near the cafeteria and the classrooms just back here. That's where the principal will hang out. Uh, and then we've also got the faculty lounge, which I believe this door should be locked because I think I locked it in gameplay. Um, though teachers don't ever really go in there. They kind of just hang out in the, the cafeteria and stuff, but it's there. So I guess if there's a room that maybe we change it to a computer lab, it could either be, I guess, like the lobby of the principal's office here, 
or it could be this uh, faculty lounge because those two rooms aren't really needed. Um, so that's also an option. And then over here, this is where the gym is. So we've got, oh, we actually got two treadmills in the end. That's good. Uh, the weights machine and the boxing bag, punching bag, and a couple of showers as well. There's no toilets in here, but there are showers uh, just there. Toilets are over here, so it's not too far between all that. I'm really hoping though, um, in gameplay, that my Sims don't decide to try and use these sinks to wash their hands or the ones over here, because that is also a problem, the autonomous hand washing in a different sink. <laughs> so I guess we'll see. So yeah, as you can see, pretty much throughout the day, you'll have, you know, the first class here, or you'll you'll come in, you'll hang out in the cafeteria and study, uh, or maybe you'll have to go work out, which will just be here. Or another task is to meet the principal, which is just there. So all that stuff is pretty much just in this section of the school, trying to keep it as like close and tight knit together as possible, whilst also still giving a sense of scale. So for the most part, you should only have to play in this area. And then if you want to do some other stuff, the library is over the other side of the school. So I wouldn't recommend going here in between classes because it'll probably take a little bit too long to walk down here. But I think this room turned out really cool. Uh, so we just got the tall bookcases at the back here and then a little study area over here near the, the light, sort of one sort of tucked away um, by these big round windows as well. I think that looks really, really cool out there. And then, yeah, that's where those stairs go up. And then over here, this has got to be my favorite room. I mean, this just looks so cool. I kind of wish this is where they had, like you could have like the graduation stuff in like this kind of room. Um, I guess we could build this kind of thing in the actual auditorium, uh, the lot, so we can have something like this, but I think this is really cool. So yeah, we've got the, all these steps that go all the way down. Again, totally functional. Your Sims can actually sit in all of those chairs. Um, and then the stage is like a little bit higher than the lowest chairs here. And then there's just a couple of seats there. I guess, you know, someone was sitting there waiting to speak. Um, yeah, that's that. Nice big stage lights. Obviously you have to use the base game like rainbow lights, but I just set the color to be uh, a standard color instead of rainbow. But yeah, I thought those were kind of good lights <laughs> to use for the little platform uh, up the front there. So that's that. And then around the back here, this is the sick bay or nurse's office just in here, all white and tiled and, and all that little sink and a couple of chairs to sit in white and a couple of beds as well. And then that's pretty much the school. Uh, oh, and then outside here as well. So out the back on this platform, I did a couple of uh, these sort of bench tables, got some bins around the place. There's no vending machines outside. I was gonna put them out here, but there wasn't really any room that made sense. So I ended up just putting uh, the vending machines throughout the hallways. There was one here, a couple there, uh, one over here as well. And I think that is more or less the school build. So we will be using this in my Let's Play. Uh, the upstairs, again, is completely blank. That is by design and kind of on purpose. And ideally, I don't really wanna to have to use the upstairs if we don't have to, because if we can just keep everything on the one floor, it makes everything a lot easier. Um, and yeah, if we need to use a room for a computer lab, maybe the faculty lounge. But let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts on that are and what your thoughts on the school are. And of course, if you want to download this, it is up on my gallery uh, now for download. And it is only base game and high school years, no custom content, no mods. You can check it out there. I'll link it down below as well if you want to download it so you can find it a little bit easier. Yeah, this is the high school. I think it's pretty good. If there's anything I missed, let me know. Like I said, I'm still very much planning probably to adjust and change this as time goes on. Um, but yeah, for now, I think this is a pretty good foundation to, to start playing in the high school with. I'm really excited to use this instead of the default one. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.